Man. I'm talking about I need some more now than ever before. It real out here. My little chocolate fixation, baby. I miss you, man. Dinner, and I'm about to try this thing real quick. Forgot what it's called. Well, actually, I never knew, remembered what it's called. Off the back, I don't like the way it feels. It feels rubbery. It tastes rubbery. I mean, it feels rubbery, but it's like a big ass fucking grape. I'm more shocked that I like it. Oh my God. I love that for me. texture and although my face is saying differently <laughs> it's just the texture I can't get it but it's good I eat it like one like this oh it feels like an egg it feels like a boiled egg in a sense. That's exactly what it feels like. And I don't even eat eggs. So that's probably why I'm not feeling the texture too much. Okay. Oh, and it has a seed. And that's what the seed looks like. I don't know. I'm not a, a planter. But I would save it if I was into plants like that. But yeah. Brand new Chris Brown T Pain. You heard it here first. Nappy Boy Radio. We love you.
Girl, I get the money with him, me to my you know. If you love me, never me, never me, make you my do. Now only you give me love when we be nice, so nice, so nice, so I feel make you my you know. Girl, I love you, plus I never make you my no. If I let you smoke, it's you gon' lose my light. Huh? If you pay me nothing, I'ma spend the night. Yeah, ooh, can't get out of me, never be there. I'ma dance with you, my money, I go pay. I literally put his bed under here and I'm like, he not even sleeping on it, but he don't want me to take it. Look, I call him and he just using it as a pillow <laughs> and then he has this little blanket right here. I don't know what he doing, but I'm trying to see if he like his bed under here or not. But I don't see him laying in it. But I think he uh, just wanted to lay his head on it because he keep putting his head on it. So we shall see. In be between time, these three combinations right here, cinnamon incense, rosemary oil, and cypress. Great. Like, whoever my labor is that is smoking literally woke me up out of my sleep. And so I've gotten accustomed to it. I still hate the smell. But it's like, I'm not about to keep chain smoking incense because you chain smoking type of thing because <laughs> it's like only thing i am like low-key mad about is i can't enjoy my uh my wax cubes as much because like i put it on and i really don't be smelling it so that's one thing i don't like so i'm trying to figure out what i can do every time and so i went to go walk the dog and before that i just sprinkled rosemary and cypress on my carpet with two cinnamon incense and I kid you not I came to my house and whatever the, I know it's this it's this right here they like, it has a strong smell but mixed in with the incense specifically it softens it up for that harsh like woodsy smell to kind of like tone down and literally I come in the house and like it feels refreshing it smells refreshing and literally when you walk in your house and your house smells good like it does it boosts your uh pheromones of happiness and I'm just like hmm yes even now like that was a real deep fucking breath and it felt fucking good so yeah girl cinnamon incense Get you some rosemary oil. And honestly, this is good for your hair too. So you can double use that. And then as well, Cypress, put this as your freshener and your hair, boo. And yeah. <laughs> okay, confirmation. He used it as a pillow. Okay. He's over ass over here just snoring. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to go. And look at his booties. I'm gonna let you stay out. We're gonna see if you finally appreciative of your life. But I promise you, if I find piss and shit in my house, you getting a spanking. If you like baking, baby, don't sleep on the 99 cent stuff like these are all fucking sprinkles i've never seen this many sprinkles in the freaking grocery store like baking people this is your store like look at all of these food coloring colors i don't see all of this in the grocery store cake options and like this size perfect for me this flower perfect exactly four cups coconut milk and I need this would be great for French toast hey. I'm fixing my mock eggplant catfish or fish basically um I cut it I pre-cut it up and so I saw it was turning brown so I have a pot or a pan whatever you want to call it I did some butter on it and then I'm just about to cook this portion real quick since it was turning brown that way later when I come home I can basically just start frying it and then who knows it might help 
help it taste better. But just like this, it looked good. I can feel the texture on how it may work for me. So we shall see. Um, the only thing I did not do was add the seaweed shit to make it taste fishy. But if you're a person who likes fish, um, a lot of people mixed it with it. I saw people mix it with the seasoning and then cook it together. So yeah, you can play with that special stuff and you get it from the Asian market. So I know it's not seaweed, but it's something special. <laughs> so we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes and let her cook, basically soften her up in a sense. And it's crazy and I, because I hope I enjoy this. Like my mom, I think it's just called Margiano's, I can't remember, but it was an Italian place where like I would go get like my New York size slices of pizzas. And she loved her eggplant lasagna basically. So low key, I'm hoping I really, really like it like this. So I got my beer batter seasoning and I got this panko seasoning I'm gonna mix it with. So I figured if I make it really, really crispy, it should be really good. And then these red lobster biscuits popped out to me when I went to the grocery store. I seasoned it with this Fish Market Coastal Blend. And then there's more spiced Creole seasoning. And yeah, I'll probably eat it with some uh, vegetable. I have some beans cooking for later already. And oh yeah, and I got these. Crack pepper fries this time. So everything should be good. We stay in positive. <sighs> okay, so I just got off from work. Also, I just finished editing a video that was basically already ready to go. I just had to basically add my music to the last few clips and save. So that's already post, ready to go for tomorrow. Yay me, because I, oh no, for some reason I really procrastinated. So I'm excited to see my next vlog footage because this, I'm like, did I even record anything? So we're about to make a Din Din, and Din Din tonight is drug roll. Let me stop. <laughs> uh, where is she? We're gonna be making basically vegan catfish or fish in my eyes because I just did just the, um, ooh, that do look like some fillets, wow. And I thought by doing this that it was probably gonna affect the integrity. And I really feel like this really looks like my fish fillets. Oh my God. And even he's coming to smell it, but you can't eat this. So yeah, we're just about to prepare our okay, batter. Okay, first thing first, we can't not, not have beer batter, so. Staple. This is how I eat my fried fish. And then I am add a little bit of breadcrumbs to it. I don't know. I saw this in the store and like, I just kept looking at it and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. So I got it. So we're going to see how that turns out. Um, we got some biscuits to go with it. Literally, once again, <laughs> I literally turned down the aisle. This caught my eye and I was like, I'll be back for you because I'm about to go get what I came down this aisle for. And I's like, you know what? Something tastes like, get it. Like, you're tasting it? Come on, get it. So we, this is what we got. Um, Cause I really didn't know what I was gonna eat with it. And then also, um, I got these. We're trying the cracked pepper version. Um, I really like the herb one. It don't taste like herb or nothing special, but it's very light, so. I do like cracked pepper roasted red potatoes from Kroger's, which we ain't had that in a long time. Ooh, and a burrito, baby. Yes, I can eat that for dinner. <laughs> I got distracted. But yeah, so um, we're probably gonna have some broccoli. If I can find her. So yeah, we're probably gonna have some broccoli to go with it because we gotta put some vegetable up in there. 
I'm so mad I broke my um, thingy that I use for my vegetables to steam. And then I just remembered. But then I just remembered. Fuck. We'll see. We'll see. don't drink beer and I'm too scared to even go buy a beer only because I don't want to pick the wrong beer and just be nasty and me just even thinking about putting beer on it it's like I feel like I'm gonna be able to taste it so although we're doing beer batter we are not using beer we're just using water and 100% you can find the other substitutes for this but water works just fine so we may need some more so I'm not even gonna I want to see what this is like oh I like that oh yes that might add a cute little crunch to it And then I'm going to add a little bit of this to add some razzle-dazzle. Mix all of that 
together. Yeah, that's a good ratio and everything. Ooh, no, she didn't. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. All right, I do use bottled water. Don't ask me why.
It's so cute. There's a black cat. Laying in the path that like we normally walk and I'm like, you know what? We are not gonna disturb the kitty. And as soon as I went the other way, the kitty just laid down and relaxed. And it was almost like a little cute little mutual respect thing. Lifting up a head, he, she, whatever it is. Still lifting up his head, only because we're slightly close. And as soon as we go the other way, he lays his head down. It's so cute, because it is laying so comfortable. But cats are so ugly now. Like, I've been wanting to say that for the longest. Cats are so freaking ugly. Like, I don't know what y'all done did to these kitties, but y'all done fucked up kitties because <laughs> they do not fit the same no more. Are you guys twins? Totally. We keep He's completely in there. Despite Stay. Value, I'm excited so for you. I'm glad I listened. Crazy though. <laughs> mm, okay, this is how everything looking. I got a little bit of everything for the fake fish. So we got the beer battered. Got the panga and then I put some hot sauce on this. So, yeah, we're about to try everything. I want to try this because this is what I love. I am so scared. <laughs> it's not bad. Mm. Yeah, my first initial bite was shock. So, Mm -hmm. Try it with some more vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to try the one with the hot sauce on camera real quick. Because I never put hot sauce on fish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try this biscuit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. Oh yeah. That breakfast sandwich is gonna be on point tomorrow. I hope I can get up in time to make it. Mmm. I'm so happy for this. Just for the super my fact, now, yes, I hate that I would have to fry it, but at least now I know, like, if I absolutely just don't know what to eat, go get an eggplant. And I'm so happy I listened to the intuition part about, like, how, like, my mom was always so excited about this eggplant meal from this Italian spot. So, yes, love that for me. It's crazy because I, I did do this before and I did realize it worked. But the person who be smoking in that apartment, like, literally, when I got called off, like, literally, I was more just depressed than... Um, I had to be stuck in the house with that smell, and it was like, literally, I'm to the point where I don't even be in my house during the day, and that's not good at all, but I know that's just like, that has to be a positive sign, and that's what I'm taking it for, is just like, all my steps to move forward is 100%, you know, true indeed. So, um, last night, when I tried the, um, eggplant fish version i was like you know what i'm scared so i'm gonna smoke and i'm like you know what i'm gonna smoke in my house because i need them to understand like i can smell that shit i don't want to smell that shit like literally that morning i got woken up by cigarette smoke and i did not like being that being the cause of me being woke out because that means that's constantly going to be waking me up out of my sleep. And I kid you not, I woke up this morning to not, no cigarette smell. 
And honestly, I feel like I faintly smelt it last night and faintly smelt it this morning, but it wasn't as strong as the opponent and as it has been. And I was like, really? Is that what I'm gonna have to keep doing for you to understand? Like, I don't wanna smell your cigarette smoke. Like, it's in my house. And now, like, I don't know if it was me or the girl, one of the girls from the job, but then it's just like, I go in the break room and I smell smoke. And I'm like, instantly, I'm like, oh my God, I hope my bag, you know, doesn't have that smell on it now. So, that's the only, like, anxiety effect that it gave me. But it was like, to wake up this morning and not to have that cigarette smoke cough and slight headache that I get, like, I smelled something that smelled good. Like, I woke up and I smelled goodness. And then I left. And I finally went in the living room. And it was so airy and it just smelled so freaking good. And I couldn't help but just scream and shout and be like, thank you. Like, because if you can hear me, I want you to understand like, oh my God, like, thank you. Like, waking up and smelling cigarette smoke. Mm. I didn't even know it affected me this much until now, but it's all good. Like, oh, just, I just love smell goodness. And it's like, I felt like, all of my smell goodness which is being put to waste because none of it really was working like literally none of my smells were working so just to finally be able to smell my shit yeah i think that's what i'm just most excited about is like oh, breath of fresh air like literally i woke up and i did that as soon as i went in the living room this parfait looks so good. I had to have a screenshot. Finished result, lots of the Nutri-Grain bar, my favorite bar, oats and honey, none more, none less. I love crunchy, so I powdered it. I'm gonna this. Breakfast sandwich, biscuit from last night, sausage, turkey sausage, and a hash brown, and then it's gonna balance it out. <laughs> Okay, so today at work, I got yet another confirmation from something that I said in my Almost Died video. And it's so crazy because like, the person I got a confirmation on literally was already going through a power trip as if they got the new management position. And to find out that not only did somebody else say the same thing that I said before, but as well, to, like, I saw her struggling on Sunday. And like, I knew what she was struggling about. Struggling about on Sunday and to basically be like, know that she got defeated. Yes, she got knocked down a couple of notches by herself as well as somebody else said the same thing that I said. And it's like, oh, so much in perspective. So much in perspective. Oh,